Get your special horoscope for the year ahead 2020 at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of January 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And as we start the month, right around the 10th is when we are going to have a lunar eclipse. This lunar eclipse will bring eclipse season to a close for now and is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. This is a part of the sky that represents your workplace and the people who surround you there, the type of work you're doing. Your health related habits are covered here as well. Now, we are going to have under the same sky at a perfection, if you will, of a very rare and special energy that astrologers have been looking forward to for years. And that is the meeting in the sky of Saturn and Pluto. These two planets are gonna to get together in the sign just before yours. And it is here that not only will these two planets be there, but we'll have the sun and Mercury there as well, adding heat and energy. So we have this conglomerate of planets, as I'm calling it, in the sign just before yours, and giving energy to what is happening in your day-to-day -day life. And in some way, you are going to see your daily life differently than you have before. So for some of you out there, this is gonna be a time of realizing what you are doing with your work and how you really feel about it. If it is that you are in a work-related environment that is, and I'm sorry to say it does happen uh, at times, but if you find yourself in a toxic environment with the people who surround you or uh, immediate supervisors, this is where some of that is gonna come to the surface to the point where it might not work for you anymore. I would also add with this, it is also possible that a coworker or immediate supervisor leaves at this time. Now, it could be that uh, there's a lot going on behind the scenes, but there is this really clear sense that there's a lot that's very complicated and messy that is part of this person leaving, perhaps very suddenly. This part of the sky uh, being lit up as it is can also speak to changes on the work front uh, with clients, with customers. At the very least, you may be very, very busy, propelled, if you will, an inner restlessness, if you will, uh, to use your days well where it comes to your work and what it is that you are doing. But for others still, this is going to represent a time when what you are doing with your work is asking for a whole lot of your energy. The thing is though, you might have to dig really deep, but if you allow yourself to kind of get the more conscious part of you out of the way, then there's this tremendous reserve of wisdom and knowledge and energy within you that you're able to bring forward. If you're doing what you should be doing with your daily life, then this is gonna be a time when you channel absolute fortitude from within your spirit. But if it is that you are in a job that really is not the right one for you, this is where you realize it more fully and start to consider how it is and where it is you're gonna move yourself in different directions. Now, this part of the sky is also connected to matters of health, and there might be a moment that is meant to remind you to take the best of care of you. And so for some of you out there, there might be that sense of awareness that you could be taking a lot better care of yourself. It is just a moment, okay? So keep that in mind. It is not likely most Aquarians out there are not going to experience this energy in this context. But it is worth mentioning that if it feels as if a matter related to your health is asking for your attention, make sure you do pay attention but it is ultimately about refining what it is you do. So whether it is changing your uh, medications a little bit or changing the way you eat a little bit, it really is those small changes that can go a very long way to helping you to feel better than you have before. Now, what is also going to happen this month that is a really big deal as well? Well, that is the new moon in your sign. Normally you get one new moon per sign per year, and this is yours. This is your moment. So yes, as we start this year, as we start this month, we are in a brand new year and a brand new decade. So that's great, fresh energy. But the new moon in your sign is like your personal new year. And so you really are starting fresh in key ways. 
So we do have a challenging energy here between Uranus and this new moon. So it could be that something that is happening in matters related to home, whether it's where you live or with a roommate or related to your family of origin, well, it looks like there might be an element there that feels like it comes up by surprise. This is your ruling planet delivering the surprise. So it seems to be particularly important to you. Now it's nothing that cannot be addressed well for that matter. We do have Chiron speaking in harmony with this new moon. Chiron is a very healing energy and in this part of the sky encouraging you to talk, to speak, to communicate and truly just having a conversation can make everything okay under this energy. Understanding more fully can help you to understand how to move towards greater wholeness and greater healing. And in this way there's a lot of potential of this time. But what I'm especially excited about with this energy, I do feel that for you, there's a real sense now of connection to self. You might feel a little restless deep within you. Most of you are going to experience this energy very personally. It isn't so much about what's happening at home or with your family, but it's a lot about you. It's about you considering your past, you considering where you've been, and you thinking about now whom it is you are and how it is that you are going to change in ways that allow you to be more you than you have known yourself to be before. In the process, you'll be summoning a spirit of healing that moves you in that direction of being truly and unabashedly yourself going forward from here. Now, where it comes to matters of love, for the first half of the month, Venus is still going to be in your sign. That is a beautiful energy. You can continue to cherish that. If it is that you are looking uh, to enjoy the aesthetics of your life, okay, so whether that's a new hair color, uh, makeup, new wardrobe, or perhaps something more permanent like a new tattoo or cosmetic procedure, it is the first uh, 13 days of this month that you want to tap into. You've got beautiful stars. Uh, to help you really like the results. But outside of that, where it comes to matters of love, Venus in your sign can make you especially attractive at this time. It is in the second half of the month that Venus will move on, move into a part of the sky for you that on the one hand has to do with um, money that you earn and money that you spend. So it looks like you're feeling very abundant at this time, which is a nice feeling. Uh, at the same time, where it comes to love, you might be feeling especially generous in the second half of the month with the people around you in the context of heart. So if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, the first half of the month is and continues to be beautiful energy to attract love into your life. There's not a whole lot you need to do, just be you. And there's a certain magnetism with you as Venus moves through your sign. In the second half of the month though, it is going to be you considering and contemplating self-esteem, self-love in the context of the people you're meeting. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do like the early part of the month, of course. It's flirtatious, it's romantic, it's uh, you feeling more and more loved uh, by this person that you are getting to know. It is in the second part of the month, though, that you might be uh, feeling inclined to be more generous with this person and just connect with yourself and consider what part of you it comes from. If it's coming from a genuine place and it feels right, that's wonderful. But if it's coming from a place within you where you are giving out of insecurity, that's where you want to be a little bit careful. For those of you who are in an established bond, Venus in your sign can be just lovely for feeling the love and feeling that much more loved by your partner. By the time Venus changes signs in the middle of the month, chances are you will be feeling especially generous with this person that you love. What I love about this month for you, well look, there's a lot here, but I'm going to say the new moon in your sign because that really is a chance for you to have a fresh perspective, to have fresh energy, and to truly feel as if you are beginning again in ways that matter to you most and matter to you first. You are gaining some powerful insights into where it is that you are in your life right now and the perfection of it. Well, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the 2020 special horoscope preview for your sign. Thank you for your patience with Biggie. He was really having a lot of fun, but I didn't want to stop here. Um, and you can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. 
sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy. Hello, fabulous superstar Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the year of 2020. This is your special horoscope. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing year it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And if there ever was a start to a decade that let you glimpse how incredible this decade can be for you, this really would be it. This year, you have powerful occurrences taking place and powerful glimpses into longer term trends. How good it can be? Well, that is just the beginning into what you'll start to sense now. Now, I'm not promising you easy breezy, okay? We have Saturn entering your sign. We have Saturn meeting Mars in your sign, but this is real. And this is you understanding that in order to maximize the blessings which come before the year is over, thanks to Jupiter, and especially thanks to Jupiter meeting Saturn in your sign, well, it really...